Hello guys, I'm back with another new tutorial and today I will show you how you can make this sort of intro animation in just PowerPoint. So without wasting your time, let's start creating. Here I have already taken a blank slide. So first to change the background color, go to design, click on format background and from here I will pick the blue color. Then close it, go to home, pick a rectangle shape. Holding the Ctrl Shift from your keyboard, drag it over here, rotate it. Now to change the color, go to Format, click on Shape Fill, Changes Color. Now go to Shape Outline and make no outline. Then press Ctrl D to duplicate this rectangle, changes color to white, resize it holding the Ctrl Shift button, drag it over here, make another copy of it, place it here. Press Ctrl D to duplicate, change this color from shape fill, resize it, make it a smaller one, place it in the exact middle of this white rectangle, make another copy, place it here. Now we have to pick an oval shape, drag it over here. To change this color, go to format, click on shape fill, make it white and remove the outline. Press Ctrl D to duplicate, change this color to red place the new one in this way then holding the control button select this 2 press control D to duplicate place it here then from merge shape select fragment now we have to delete the extra portions from here so just delete them and keep this one place it here change this color to black and it will look like a shadow after that, select only these circles, press Ctrl G to group and place them in the exact middle. Now we have to add the text boxes. So first, pick a text box, drag it over this circle, add some text here. I'm typing intro, selecting the text, change the font to DOSIS, increase the font size, change the color to white and place it here. Then press Ctrl D to duplicate this text box. Here I am typing the AND symbol, resizing the text box, place it here. To have some variation in color, I am changing it to blue. Again select this text box, make another copy of it. Here I am typing animation, you can add your own text. So now we have to decrease the font size, resize this text box and maintain the alignment. Again make another copy of this text box and here I am typing the name of our channel PowerPoint School. Decrease the font size again, make it center and place this text box in the exact middle. After that select all the text boxes and place them in the middle of the circle. Now we have to add the animation. So first we have to make some changes. So select this text box, holding the Ctrl Shift, drag it to top and it will be duplicated. Now go to animation, click on add animation and from motion paths select line. Now we just need to drag this red dot in its previous position. Then set start on click and the duration 0 0.50 second. Now we have to delete the previous text box and keep the animated one. After doing so, select this text box, holding the Ctrl Shift, drag it to left and it will be duplicated. Then click on add animation, from motion pass select line. From effect option select right. Now drag this red dot over the previous one. Set start after previous, duration 0 0.50 second. Here again we have to delete the previous one and keep the animated one. Now select this text box, holding the Ctrl Shift, drag it to down and it will be duplicated. Then go to add animation, select line from motion pass and from effect option select up. Once again we have to drag the red dot in its previous position, set start after previous and duration 0.50 second. Then again we have to delete the previous text box and keep the animated one. Now we have to select the last text box which is behind the third one. Go to add animation, select zoom, set start 
after previous and duration 0.25 seconds. Select this rectangle, go to add animation, select zoom, set start with previous duration 0.25 seconds. Do the same for this small rectangle, go to add animation, select zoom, set start with previous and duration 0.25 seconds. After adding all the animations, we have to cover the text boxes. So pick a rectangle shape, drag it over this AND symbol, go to format, click on shape fill and change this color so that it matches with the background and remove the outline. Then select this text box, right click on it and bring it to front. Again select this rectangle, press Ctrl D to duplicate, place it here and cover the first text box. Again make a duplicate of this rectangle, place it here, we need to cover the third text box. Here remember we have another text box behind the third text box. So select that last text box, right click on it and bring it to front. And we are done. Now if you start the slideshow, you can see that our whole animation is working perfectly. You can download this template for free, I have given the download link in the video description. If you have enjoyed this tutorial, make sure you like this video. If you haven't subscribed to our channel yet, make sure you subscribe, share with your friends and don't forget to click on the bell icon to get time to time notifications from our channel. Hope to see in the next tutorial and thanks for watching.